Hello, students. Uh, we, uh, I'm, I'm Saif Abdi, Associate Professor with the School of Management, VVD University. So today I'm back with the Advertising and Brand Manager, uh, Brand Management lecture. So as we were doing uh, Unit Two, so I'll continue with that, and uh, uh, we will. Uh, look into so in uh, in the previous lectures we uh, in uh, in the unit uh, 2 we had done uh, uh, we had done lectures on advertising message we had done the approaches the goals of advertising the media strategy so in continuation with that today we will uh, see uh, what is media planning so as the name suggests media planning so it is basically uh, a plan to determine the best combination of media to achieve the marketing campaign objective so uh, what so basically what would be the uh, best media or a set of media or a combination of media to uh, to achieve our marketing campaign objective so for example first thing we need to know is that how many audience we want to reach through various media so the target can be whole of india the target can be uh, a certain zone in india maybe north zone or south zone or maybe it can be just for the hindi speaking population of india so so that's what we need to know while planning the media then the second thing we need to plan is that on which media should the ads be placed so ads we have studied earlier that uh, there are various kinds of media so like print media which is newspaper magazines then we have outdoor media like the holdings and uh, billboards and all then we have electronic media in which television is the major one and uh, radio is also there radio fm these days is very popular then we have uh, internet in, in internet social media advertisement is very popular nowadays and it's upcoming and it's catching up very fast then we have transit media in which uh, uh, the advertisements are placed on buses and trains and aeroplanes and all these things so this is uh, so depending on which who is our target audience we need to decide that uh, which all media so only one media so if there is if there is the budget and our requirements are such that we can afford only one one media and uh, so then we'll take one if if the if our planning is such that or that and the budget is allowing then we can go for multiple uh, media or, or a combination of media so all these things we need to decide in media planning and finally the most important one how much money should be spent so because ultimately no matter what your planning is and uh, no matter uh, how much you want these things but ultimately everything will depend on what is your what are the finances available and what is the budget available so if for example if you don't have the budget if you don't have the money uh, to advertise uh, big time so no matter how much you want to advertise for example on television you you will not be able to do that because you do not have the budget to advertise on television because television advertisements are the most expensive one a slot of two to three seconds costs lakhs of rupees so uh, money is a very important factor likewise even on television uh, when what all slots you are planning so you have the budget for television but for example prime time slots are very expensive 
so somewhere share of uh, prime time slot is somewhere around 7:30 pm to say around 10:30 pm so that slot is the most safe. so if, if you do not have budget for that much so in spite of the fact you are advertising on television but you do not have too much money you might have to settle for some other slot likewise uh, when special events take place like for example a world cricket world cup or a india pakistan match or or ipl so these slots are also very 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 expensive so that's so all these things are taken into consideration but at the same time these slots are expensive but if you are putting money on these slots in television then you are getting more out of it because the number of people who watch an india pakistan match or a cricket world cup or a ipl match is much more so you will be able to um, uh, achieve your objective but again the money should be there so all these things are there while you do media planning now how do we uh, develop a media plan so we so it's it has basically four uh, stages first one is market analysis so we analyze the market in the first step that what is the market like and uh, what all things are required and how best we can uh, make our advertising campaign so that it uh, it suits the market then the second one is uh, the second step is the, or the second stage is establishment of media objective so in the earlier slide we have seen that how we have we decide the objective of the media so it can be like going for the masses or it, it all depends as we have seen that uh, in the previous uh, slides that uh, how the media objective is taken care of so uh, then the third stage is media strategy development and implementation so uh, when you have found out what is your media objective what is the objective of the media which you are choosing and your advertising campaign so then you uh, develop a strategy and implement that so uh, if we take an example so for example your media objective is to uh, make your brand uh, so you basically brand awareness regarding a new new brand which is being launched so and uh, we you have enough budget to do that so what you will do your strategy would be uh, that you will for example you will look for a big ticket event so for example a cricket world cup is coming up or uh, or the or maybe ipl is going on for a month or so so what you will do is so you want to grab maximum eyeballs you want to create brand awareness about this is a new brand coming up so what you will do is your media strategy will be that you will flood the uh, uh, the television with the during the ipl you will uh, for every break you you will have uh, advertisement for, of your brand and so that you grab the maximum eyeballs and everybody knows about your brand so so that that can be one kind of uh, strategy so you have developed that strategy and then you will implement that how you will implement that you will what you will do is that you will talk for slots with the uh, star sports which which is the official broadcaster of ipl and you will see what how how you can negotiate the price how or which slots you are getting and all those aspects the legal aspects and all other things so that's how things are done for example if uh, i take a, a live example if you see the vodafone zuzu ads so those uh, vodafone zuzu ads are very famous but if you look at them carefully you will not find the zuzu ads on television throughout the year these zuzu ads come only during ipl 
so that is the media strategy made so that is the media strategy developed by vodafone and that's how they implement it and that ad campaign is really famous ad campaign and people wait for those ads people see those ads so that's how a media strategy is developed and Im implemented so vodafone uh, ad is one example so likewise uh, there are other campaigns as well where sometimes if you are uh, going through you you would see a trend that uh, some brands advertise so often so often that during during one private program you will see their advertisements in every break so that is also a media strategy that what they do is that they will show you so many times that you you won't even if you want you won't be able to forget that you will be to an extent irritated but you will so that's how you will uh, that's their strategy that you so you you should not forget so they will pump in lot of money they will spend a lot of uh, money on advertising it on television and all that but you will uh, not forget that brand so it can be used for brand awareness it can be used for uh, relaunching your brand or it can be used to keep the existing customers interested so so depending on that so likewise when you these days when you go on internet you you are you are uh, uh, watching something or reading something so you see uh, you tend to see a lot many pop ups coming up so that is also a media strategy so people who use uh, internet as the medium so that's how the pop ups the flags and all these things come so you tend to get again you tend to get irritated with these ads because your focus is on the content which you are watching or you are seeing you don't want to see the ads but when the po advertisement pops up you 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 don't have any option but you have to see it because it has popped up on your screen or when you when you go on youtube you see lot many ads come up so there are two things there are two types of ad on youtube also one where you can skip that but after a few seconds so it will show up for 3 to 5 seconds and then you can you have the option to skip but the other one is where you you are bound to see that ad you cannot skip that ad so that is again uh, some kind of uh, media strategy is there so and obviously the one where you cannot skip that would would be costing more as compared to one where you can uh, you can skip that so all those uh, permutations and combinations are there then also uh, one thing um, which uh, which is actually not part of the strategy but uh, uh, which uh, i just wanted to throw some light on uh, in all these ads especially since this uh, this thing has come up so if you uh, for example if you going through uh, uh, if you going say you are watching some uh, program on youtube and an ad comes up so what happens is and this happens with everybody it happens with me also if the ad is interesting so what happens is that we would love to see that ad in spite of the fact that it is disturbing our view uh, and the continuity of the thing which i was watching but since the ad is interesting i would i would not avoid it or i would not skip it i would see it so that is a uh, if that is happening then that is a big achievement on the part of the all the creative team of the advertisers so the advertising agency the copywriter and artist and everybody the director and all because what it has done is that it has kept you glued to the advertisement and you since the advertisement was interesting so you did not skip it you saw the whole advertisement so that's why the creative aspect of the advertisement is very 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 important 
so uh, that's i just wanted to mention this in between because uh, uh, because the whole thing if your art is not creative then it will not be able to uh, grasp the imagination of your target audience it will not be able to grab the eyeballs in case of print media or holdings and all these things so that's why the creativeness or well, whatever you can do in your you can make a good uh, strategy you can your objectives are all fine you have done market analysis and you have all done all those kind of things but ultimately if your advertisement is not creative it is not good everything will go down the drain so that's how creativity in so ultimately your ha advertisement has to be creative so one campaign um, i would like to uh, mention here is uh, there are many campaigns but one campaign which i have been seeing since my since my college days or school days and a very creative advertisement is of amul butter so if you look at that every week or 10 days or 15 days they come up with something very creative something which is uh, relevant and they relate that to the amul butter so that is one campaign and they do not come on television or anything they they usually come on outdoor media in hold, holdings or through print media and that's because of the creativeness they are hogging all the limelight so that's uh, that's uh, why creativity is very important and then uh, coming back to the media plan finally the evaluation and follow up so uh, once you have uh, developed the media strategy and implemented it you need to uh, basically have the control over the proceedings so to have a control over the proceeding you do a evaluation and follow up so if there is something amiss so for example maybe you have chosen a wrong slot on the television or for example uh, you have you are paying big time for cricket world cup for example for advertisement and say for example india is out of contention and india is out of the tournament then while doing the evaluation that's what the importance of evaluation is follow up so you can reevaluate your strategy and restrategize and maybe you should think that okay let's not waste our money on cricket world cup now because india is already out of picture and the viewership has gone down drastically so let's uh, pull back from here let's let's wait for another event and meanwhile we should withdraw all our advertisement from the cricket world cup so that's what evaluation and follow up does that was one example so this is uh how you develop a media plan so i'll just uh, uh, repeat the stages first is marketing analysis then establishment of media objective then uh, the third is media strategy development and implementation and finally evaluation and follow up evaluation and follow up is very 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 important because after doing all the research work all the creativeness and all is spending all the money uh you have to see that you have to you have the control over the proceeding so because of, because ultimately all the uh, the whatever uh, hard work you have done whatever money you have invested it should not go down the drain so that's why you do evaluation and follow up so that was about uh, the media plan now uh we will look into the in, in the media plan the third stage which we were discussing um uh, we uh, so that is a very uh, important one because uh, hey, that in fact overall in in the four, four stages of the media plan the strategy development and implementation is the most important aspect of all the four stages so we will look at what is we we'll look in detail about the strategy development and implementation so first is 
so there are various aspects of uh, strategy development and implementation so basically these are media mix target market coverage consideration geographic coverage scheduling reach and frequency creative aspects flexibility and budget consideration so some somehow we have uh, uh, looked uh, into these uh, uh, on a on a superfluous uh, basis but we here we will look at them one by one very quickly so media mix media mix is the basically what kind of media you are using so it can be as i said earlier it can be just television it can be television plus internet it can be television plus radio it can be outdoor media it can be transit media so that is media mix so it can be one or multiple or a combination of uh, multiple media then second is target market what is your target market so for example as i said that it can be uh, the 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 metropolitan market or the urban market or it can be the it can be the rural market or it can be for example uh, uh, young the young generation so uh, so these or or it can be the housewives so all uh, all these comes under target market next is coverage consideration so coverage consideration is like how much uh, what is your uh, how how many or how how much coverage you want to give so for example uh, if you want to cover whole of india then something like a big ticket event like a ipl or some new movie premiering on some television channel so that will give you uh, enough coverage so that is cover but for example you want to say for example cover uh, just uh, just for example uh, uttar pradesh then uh, local television channels or maybe some uh, 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 some events happening in the mahotsav like for example lakhnow mahotsav or these kind of things can be considered likewise uh, uh if you if your uh, your uh, target market is uh, young crowd in in up only then what you can do is that you can target the college festivals so you can sponsor the the, the college fests of the universities and big colleges so that's what coverage consideration is then the geographic coverage geographic coverage as the name suggests is the geographical area you want to cover so it can be it can be international it can be national it can be zonal level it can be local level then scheduling scheduling uh, i had mentioned earlier that uh, you want to show it it can be seasonal for example you want to show it in summers you want to show it in winters it can be the scheduling can be time wise also the time slot as i had mentioned earlier like uh, you want to show it in prime time slot or you want to show it during ipl so this is what scheduling is then reach and frequency so reach is uh, nothing but how many people are you reaching are uh, reaching or how uh, how deep you want to go so again uh, for example uh, if you television is the most popular uh, medium because of its reach so with television you can reach almost whole of india be it the villages in northeast or the villages in bihar or the metropolitan cities of bombay calcutta delhi and all so that is what reach is but again if your product is local then you do not want to go for a uh, national channel you can go for a local cable operator or local channel so that's what and frequency is nothing but how many times the repetitiveness of the your ad campaign how many times you want to show so as i said that there are some ads which 
कम ड्यूरिंग और एवरी एवरी एडवर्टिजमेंट ब्रेक there are some ads which will come on a channel maybe once or twice a day there are some ads uh, which which will come only few times in a year so that's what frequency is then the creative aspect uh, as i had mentioned again that uh, the creative aspect is very important because ultimately all the things you have done will depend on how creative your ad is because if your advertisement is not creative then everything goes down the drain so uh, be it uh, is and it's not only for the audio visual ads it's for all kinds of ad be it the outdoor media the print media or uh, uh, the television or radio advertisement so that's what creativity is then uh, flexibility how flexible you are so flexible in the sense that you you are not bound that uh, i will uh, and say say for example when i said that okay uh, i have a time slot booked for the world cup throughout the world cup for all the matches i will uh, i will display my ad or my ad will be my pro product will be promoted but india for example uh, is thrown out of the world cup so now what will happen that i should be flexible enough that okay now i don't want to use these slots because the viewership has gone down so i will uh, advertise on uh, some other uh, event or some other channel and finally the most important one is the budget consideration so as i said that finance or the budget available for your uh, uh, advertisement or the marketing part is very important because everything depends on the finance or the budget you have for the campaign so if you want to advertise on a television but you do not have the budget so you that's not possible or for example if you want to advertise on on a, on prime time on colors or ztv or or maybe uh, aaj tak or some other place some popular channel but you the but the rates are high so you cannot do that and you do not have the budget for that then it's of no use so my budget considerations are very important and again in budget consideration you should be getting the value for your money so so for, ex for if you for example if you are investing 10 lakhs on advertisement uh, on on a, on a certain television on a certain program for a certain slot you should be sure that you are getting the returns for that so that's how the budget works so um, students that will be it for today um, thank you for your time till the next time goodbye have a nice day